Hold on, hold on. Don't forget, everybody. If it ain't official, it ain't legit. You heard? Stop playing with me. T-Lane, a.k.a. Cologne, a.k.a. Big MP. We tuning in with That's Legit Podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, y
people, like, the, the, I mean, the aura of where you're going. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, I know my school, they was OD religious, so before yeah. anything, there was prayers. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, why would you got to pray? Yo, for? we couldn't like, even walk on their grass. Now, yeah, I mean, they know what they're talking about, with these Claflin people. Yeah, sure. Damn, I ain't going to yeah. start with them. Let them be great, you know, South Carolina State University, but Shout we're going to keep it going, South Carolina. Carolina. Yo, I ain't going to hold you. Um, chicken, fried chicken Wednesday was lit. Fried chicken Wednesday, I ain't going to hold you. Friday was lit for me. Um, nah, that was, nah, that was lit. The whole um, freshman year when you had the meal plan, that was lit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that was lit. So, that was lit. So, I, got a question, I got a question for both of y'all. When y'all first touched down in 2011, what's the first fast food spot y'all hit that y'all couldn't get in New York? Cookout. I had cookout with my with my family. Yeah, cookout, cookout, cookout. The milkshakes. That's the cookout first. Is, that's the first time we got it. Bro. I didn't know. We ain't know no better though. For me, we ain't know no better. So until my people from down there started putting me on. That's all. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what you really supposed to get when you pull up? That's a fact. That's a fact. Yo, one thing I always um remember about the house parties, bro. Like it's it's just a different vibe. Like in New York, like we had house parties and shit like that. But you know, just being down there having a house party is different. I'm not yeah, gonna lie. Hosting it and and well, when we first got oh, down, yeah? 2011. Yeah, we we got to stay on 2011. Yeah, 2011. Yeah, we we got to stay right there. When we Magan. first got down there. Who's Magan? That's crazy, bro, because it was a different vibe. First of all, they play really? music that we don't know, Never but we in the spot just because we want to be And everybody's there, just going up. And everybody's just jumping around, feel me? I ain't touched down in 2012. No, no, no reggae sense. music, feel me? You know, we <laughs> from New York. We trying to, yeah. uh, trying to move a different <laughs> way with yeah, it, feel no me? No reggae music. It's everything Turk song. Like, yeah. Everything is, I mean. Yeah. Like, Shit used to be crazy, though. After, after the party, though, locals would pull up. Like, feel me? They was in the party. In the party, too. <laughs> they was in the party, too. Nah. Like, I wasn't worried about them in the party. I was too lit. But, you know, after the party, that's when static. Yeah, I'm watching everything. Down, that's when it's going crazy. Like, they would just pull up, bro. Freshman year, I was not fit. I was watching everything, bro. That was my year to observe. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, a lot of parties was um, party definitely was whack to me, bro. Right, that depends on the party because when you when you party have the frats that do the parties, them frat parties always lit. I don't care who no, does I mean, it. I mean, lit. Oh yeah, the pink house. house. Yeah, yeah, my, my boy said you already know. I had to, I had, I had to get, I had to get in tune. I had to start yeah. learning. What, I had to start learning. Nah, 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 but it was your school too. Like our school was bigger, so I'm not saying like your school didn't have parties. Y'all had house parties, but it wasn't compared to like. I started going to house parties over there first. I said first. Even a little yeah. small shit like uh -huh. Houdini. I mean, that's right, small. Right, 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 right. And we gotta we gotta retake that legendary 3K pick. Oh yeah, yeah. nah. Mm -hmm. that we took, that Houdini, was like, Houdini yeah, was a that different was scene. Houdini. I mean, Houdini. for those who don't know, Houdini was up at um classmen dorms on South Carolina State mm -hmm. campus, you know. Campus, Definitely right. a different vibe down there. But another thing that used to get me tight about the South when I first got there was the Nats, bro. Yeah. Like, oh, yo, I, just son, bro. I just said that. I just said that. I just said that. I was never Forget, Yo, for, you can't forget. get used to it. I don't know how people down there like it'd be muggy, it'd be normal. muggy. People normalized it, bro. You see bro. people just walking like it's normal and not bro. slapping them. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Yo, God damn just it. going straight Yo, to the level bro. Too bro. Freshman year, you know niggas ain't have a whip. No whip, no nothing. You walking down, it's hot, it's beaming. This beaming. Me walking through camp, camp, it's like this, bro. And you sweating. But you got the normal <laughs> people just walking like it's regular. Like, oh, yep. I mean, they this. be talking I'm and everything, bro. Yup. That shit is different, And then the bro. weather changed, feel me? It could rain, bro. Yo. That's a fact. For five minutes, the next rest of the day, uh, it's 90 degrees, bro. Beaming. Dry. Oil would just rain off and on. I think that was some Orangeburg shit. Right. Orangeburg yeah, has yeah, some. Yeah, Orangeburg. That now, what, weird what made weather. Y what made y'all go down there, though, like? I had I had people down there. I had family oh, yeah. down there that I already went to Claflin, feel me? So they was like, mm -hmm. just pull up down here. Because I did not apply to no school. No at the school? No. I was not. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to school. I'm going to go to uh, trade school. But right. once I got to Claflin, it was a different vibe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which it was the best decision I've ever Oh, yeah. Shout out shout out to your um your cousin, your older cousin, Taylor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bro, yeah. Taylor yeah. never was yeah. holding yeah. it down for niggas, bro. He definitely was. Showed us the all, way bro. when we got there. Showed us what was yes. what. That's cool, yes. man. That's yes. so cool, yes. bro. For real, but, bro. But um, to piggyback off that um, motivation, I ain't gonna lie, it was y'all. I mean, it was definitely y'all right. to go out there and get out Yeah, because he came a year after us, right? Yeah, 2012. Yeah. You know, 700 miles away. I had no family out there. I'm like, Right. Yeah, I gotta see what it's we like. Told I ain't like homecoming in 2011, and I'm just hey, that was definitely, taking back ever since. I ain't gonna hold you for me. Like it was, it was one summer. I remember because remember Khalifa went to state before Fraxy all of us. Oh, yeah. So Khalifa came home 
or he was he was away at school. It was like during the winter or some shit like that. It was snowing up here crazy, but he showed up a pic. He was like, "Yo, they closed the whole town down." So I'm expecting to see a blizzard or some shit. He showed us outside. It was not one snowflake on the ground. I, I, bet, I, I, I bet they, they did that. Down. They did that when we had an ice storm. Bro, they thought we were what? getting one. I was like, I, I know exactly why I'm going to school. I'm not snow, staying up here. Snow coming from this ground. What they, what they call it? State of emergency. Bro, it don't be one outside. snowflake down there, bro. I was like, I gotta be out. Like the decision was simple, and I ain't gonna lie. When I took the um the tour, they 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 wild me. I ain't gonna lie. Our band, shout out to the March one one. You, you yes. took the tour to South Carolina yeah, State. Yeah, yeah. Bro. How many on the college tour? How, how many other schools you? Saw? No, 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 not the college tour. Like I went to um the invite. What is it? Like the welcome day. Or oh something like yeah, that. yeah, I think I did that. Before, nah, before like the, the school semester actually start. It's like a, a pre welcome for when you to see the down campus there. and everything. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do that. But yeah, it was lit. They wowed me. They had the cheerleaders out there doing their thing, the oh, marching band, threw me. Oh, oh, oh that's what brought y'all in. Yeah, yeah. feel me up. That's a fact. Yeah, I'm keeping it up. Okay. Yeah, feel me, you know what I mean? Oh, right. what, what brought you in the Claflin though? <laughs> There's other schools in South Carolina. You say that's all I that's all I knew about, honestly. You feel me? Once I found out about that. That's what I knew about. But guess what? We was the flyest, not me. I the know. Uh, illustrious, not nah, me on the hilltop high. Know, you already know what's going on. Cause I was letting y'all chat before, but the, the Panthers yeah, is here. Yeah, you know what I mean? Crazy, yeah, we here. You see what I it know, is? Y'all was cool, y'all. We was cool real days. uppity, feel me? Real uppity. We was a real uppity ass niggas. You, you know why they was over there. Females they wanna too. be with the uppity bitches. <laughs> not me. Uh, they wanna be with the money yet. Uh, with the money reside, with the money reside. You feel me? I'm not even going. I was trying to let you cool. That was cool. All right, cool. We gonna calm down. We gonna calm down for the Bulldogs. I'll let y'all get that. That was cool. Y'all, y'all basketball team was straight too. Yeah, they had it. They had it. They had it. They had. They had you know why? I think they had like. One person from New York every year, feel me? So that was a oh, yeah, that was good, was feel me? Go then they had, they had the DMV people out there. Works. I like that, feel me? When I started seeing that, I'm like, yo, some of my mans from New York could really hoop out here, mm -hmm. which right. they do now. Nah, some of them. Yeah, basketball games was lit, yeah. too. Yeah. I remember yeah. being in the stadium. Yeah, yeah. Nah, basketball definitely. games was definitely lit. Y'all was too, you oh, yeah. feel me? Y'all, 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 like you remember the first people you met on campus and everything like that when y'all got there? Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say I was blessed. I'm gonna say my roommate was like really one of the first people I ever clicked up with. Mm -hmm. You know, shout out to Mike Wolf Tap. Uh, Wolf, yeah, that means squeeze. Mike. Definitely my roommate. And him being from New York, you know, we just gravitated to each other. Never, like, mm -hmm. I don't know the name from a hole in the wall. But, you know, just, um, That's how it be. just him, we be from the same background. Like, alright, you know. I got somebody down here with me that we don't got nothing out here, and, mm -hmm. and, and that alone just... That's a fact. Away. New York niggas definitely link up with other New York people, and so just we gonna find each other. Quick word, quick, quick. You know I mean? always like yeah. that. Especially so. just being in a place you're not from, like just to peep somebody that's on your same timing. Like, word, that's just gonna word. be like, it's a beautiful I, thing. I, I can rock with you. Like I said, I was blessed to have him as my roommate. Like, yeah. That's a fact. You know, mm -hmm. roommate really be like your first, like your first real that's a fact. best friend down mm -hmm. there. Same for me, my roommate. Word. My roommate became my best man. That's my guy. For me, at some point, at some point, we wanted to, I mean, square up. I mean, it was, it was getting there, you feel know I me? Mean? It was yes. getting there. We was from two different worlds. He from down here where everything is, mm -hmm. feel me? You basically go off of, like, what your parents say, feel mm -hmm. me? In New York, you listen to your parents, but it's some more like a, mm -hmm. you grow up on your own, basically, right, feel right, me? You right. be learning different stuff in the street, right, feel right. me? That's how I see it, but down there, so, you be learning with the church. So do you think, in a sense, like, you ever had to, like, check your mentality and have to remember where you were at, in a sense? Oh, like, oh, def oh definitely. Was... They, had, they had to let me know, like, mm -hmm. bro, we down south, we can't do it like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's different. I even have to let my New York people know for homecoming, when they come down, like, you can't mm -hmm. do the same things. Word, definitely, you know? definitely, yeah. definitely. It's definitely, yeah. it's, it's been like that for ages, bro, before right. us. Mm -hmm. you have, when you get down south, you just have to know where you're at. It changes, bro. Damn, Tell you that. I'm not always it's like maintaining your composure. That's a fact. Me. That's a fact. You gotta be able to do that. And they gonna think you coming off aggressive, but we just from New York. It's just mm -hmm. I'm talking to you normally. That's right. normal talk. Word. This is how you do. So yeah, I remember like the first time y'all came back up. Like, what was the first thing you missed about being down south? Because we all remember like whether it was like a little break from school, you gotta come back up to New York. Like, what was the first thing y'all missed? Like, I'm not gonna
Cause mm-hmm. man was like, you know, that's you have to call, man, sir. That was, was just that. yeah, that was just a culture. So me doing that, I'm like. Mm-hmm. And they like that. And me and your yeah, family, they love that. I see, the help. You, I see, oh, I see you growing up. This is how you know when they when they weird. When they mm-hmm. tell you, I'm too young, don't call me ma'am. <laughs> That's when you know, like, I. I ain't gonna lie, I just missed the different energy because I, I just remember leaving New York. I was so hyped, feel me? Yeah. So once I'm down there, I'm like, all right, I mean, I'm here in South Carolina, feel me? It was just lit, a different energy. So it's like coming back home on little college breaks, it's like, bam. Faith want to be with and the people. Like, yeah, nah, that's how I felt. I want to get back. I want to get back. Be lit, doing out. the little stupid bullshit. I was yeah, doing, cause you, know? you be tired of New York, bro. Yeah. You be tired of the up north. Come shit. back like I ain't miss nothing. I didn't like I y'all nothing. still here doing the same thing. For, I, mean, I love y'all right? respectfully. I love it out here. But, yeah. but I'd rather be down south. When I when like, I used to leave, bro, I different vibe of You just miss the weather. You just miss your people. You just miss being comfortable having your own like i got my own dorm room like it's not your house but it's my dorm room for me everything in there is mine you know i mean like so let's speak about that first um the first homecoming bro like y'all remember that shit freshman year when you came down our homecoming uh, i'm not gonna lie you know my first homecoming wasn't wasn't a great experience for some for some um i lost my key and, and the dorm i stayed in anybody know mitchell uh, Mitchell dorm, mm-hmm. uh, they engrave your room number on the key. So mm-hmm. if you find it, if you find the key, you already you already got the room number engraved. You know where room to go to. Just take it out, do what you gotta do. But like I said, my first homecoming was besides that though, like um, you I had see, the stadium up, right? Meek Mill and Wale was the concert. Wale, Michael Wale, Blackson Wale. was the comedian. Oh yeah, my boy was jokes. Jokes, jokes. jokes. I feel like Gary Owens was there too, mm-hmm. but. Um, I never yeah, been to a concert before. Before that, yeah, I never I wasn't been. Over there. I never been to a concert. And you I was, went to y'all, y'all, y'all homecoming. I did. I was can't like, curse at your homecoming. But our homecoming was real. Like in oh, 2000, Joe. look, you, you gotta go back. See, that's why you. Look, I'm sitting back like this. In 2011, my school is a Christian school, bro. So they wasn't. Look, the dorm, the dorms was not Yo, coed. Couldn't curse. Feel me? Everything was separated. You couldn't curse. I mean, everything I was censored. Like, Yo, why is this? Censored? Everything was censored. Everything was awesome. Why is the song censored? So I'm like, why is everything man? Like, I mean, I wasn't feeling that. Feel me, but. People started fighting for more stuff, like they started fighting for co ed dorms because yeah. you know, my school wasn't on that. I feel like I had guys and girls, you wasn't no, no visitation. We had curfews, visitation. Oh, yeah. I felt like, nigga, I'm a grown man. I don't even gotta go home this early when I'm in New York, bro. I go home at 2 a.m. if I want to. <laughs> Y'all telling us we gotta be in the dorm room at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Shout out to the Panthers. Yo, I used to see <laughs> freshmen running. <laughs> Bro. Running, <laughs> running to make Matter of fact, chicks, dorm, chicks wouldn't even make it back. Chicks wouldn't go back to their dorm room. They would just I'm stay fine. out. Oh yeah, stay out. Yeah, 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 yeah. They gonna, they gonna know That's somebody. the real right. spin a night bag vibes. Feel uh-huh. me? Because you're not running back to unless you want to get a fine. Yeah, they find unless you want to get a fine. Yeah, get a fine. Pay the fine. What? Feel me? But you don't want to be grown. I gotta be a fine. Yeah. Shout out to my cousin nah, Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean, you do that right. state, right? State was too big. Like, and ratchet. Let's just say that <laughs> was. they was hood. They wasn't going for it. Feel me? They wasn't going for it. But it didn't even. It didn't yeah, even yeah, make sense. Would have a rebellion. Right. Try some shit like yeah, that. it didn't even make yeah. sense to do that. Yeah, it didn't even make bro. sense to do that because if you're trying to stop people from having sex, you can't. <laughs> so I don't even know why the school was doing that. I don't even know why they was doing that. You can't. They can't. You cannot stop people from having sex in college. But um. Definitely a great decision. Definitely, though. definitely my best choice for me. Yeah, you gotta get away, bro. Like sometimes I, I encourage anybody like get away if you have Go that opportunity. Down, please, south, get away. Please. Get out of your parents. Get out of the parents' West. crib. Yes. That staying in New York and I mean going to Swat. commuting back and forth home. You in college? Mm-hmm. That's a dub. It's like a whole okay. world out there you gotta experience. And you like, and you're gonna force your parents to send you bread. Feel me? Uh, they gotta send you bread. They can't leave you out there. The system, you gotta finesse the system. Gotta finesse the system. I mean, like you gotta know what you're doing. One too many times. I'm crying. They can shut you. They can not shut me. JLB for what team? That's why I go to school. I'm not working. Yo, but definitely, um, would you would you do it again though? Like, I'm doing it, I'm doing it 10 times. Shit. I'm doing word, it 10 times word, out of 10. Word, word. I'm doing it 10 times out of 10. Nothing I wouldn't do. I wouldn't even go to the A that far. I would really just stay in South Carolina or yeah. North Carolina. You know? yeah, nah, that's a fact. Small HBCU mm-hmm. still. I'm not going to no big, goofy ass HBCU. Nah, family. I could have I could've went to, you know, Howard. I could've went I'm to, not doing I could've it. went to NCAT. I'm not doing it. Nah, I'm, I'm, I would say I would definitely pick it again. Like South Carolina State 
was just on Facts for me, just for you. It's, it's, it like, fit us. Yeah, for me. That was, fit us. Our school was perfect for us. Right. Like, at the time, feel me? Like, I met so many people, like, that just changed my whole word, mindset. Bro. Word, word. Right. 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 Changed yeah. the way how you think about everything, how you live. I definitely def went down there with the, I'm um, from New York. Changed how you dress, yeah, everything. Word, word. It's people that don't care. Like, right. That's where I learned that. Like, they. We don't care where you're from. You know I mean, like, <laughs> just be you and chill. Just be relax, you, bro. You know I mean? like, a lot of people, people need to know that. Right. A lot of people go out there like, all from New York. Nobody cares, bro. Like, nobody cares. In the sky blue. Like, no, and what up. else? You gonna see people from Cali out there. You gonna see people from Utah. Word. People. You gonna see people from everywhere. Word. Texas. Word. Feel me? The DMV cats. They definitely coming strong. So. Heavy. Oh yeah, they be coming heavy. heavy DMV yes. cats be coming in heavy. Alright, so each of y'all, um, what's one piece of advice you would give to somebody like um, that's watching in, like the younger millennials coming up in the world, you know, that's trying to decide on where they should go to school or anything, like if they should stay home, you know, or go away, like, what advice would you give them? Uh, you want to go ahead and take this one? Yeah, you got it. I'm going to say going away to college is an experience, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, for you and your family, if you're not there on a full ride or some type of partial scholarship, academic scholarship, athletic scholarship, then you there on experience if you know you're coming out of pocket. So just think about that. You know what I mean, when you out there trying to have fun, you got to be thinking, okay, I also have to handle my grades, make sure my That's grades are okay, because you don't want to be out there wasting your people's money, bro. Mm -hmm. You're going to be for out it. there for four years mm -hmm. and get your... 30,000 in debt or 40,000 in debt, 50,000 in debt, and then leave, that, bro. Yeah. You're gonna, somebody gonna pay for it. For me, unless Joe Biden and Kamala come through, come through, come through, come through, come through, I don't wanna pay it back. Cause I'ma defer every year. And so y'all keep your promise, but young boys, I mean, young girls, get away, get out your people's cribs. I mean, this is where you learn to grow up and you really find who you are. There's no influence around you. That's I mean, there's no influence around you. You're gonna become a bum or you're gonna, Stand on your two feet. You gonna swim and drown. Yes, 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 what about yes, you, yes, 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 You know, he pretty much said all of it. But to piggyback off what he said, um, do something different, you know. Definitely go away, get, get somewhere, get familiar with somewhere different, somewhere out the way. Like I said, you don't gotta be down south, west coast, midwest. You can go up north. If that's what you like to do, I don't yeah. like the cold. But, yeah. Yeah. but but definitely get away, definitely get away. Best experience mm -hmm. in my life. Best experience in my life. Facts, I facts. Can't it, that's experience. <laughs> now, for me, I definitely tell them to do your research, you know. Everything that's comes true. with research, you know. Know the surroundings of where you're going, you know. And once you get there, you know, actually branch out and meet people, you know. Don't try to confine within the circle that you know or try to, you know, be friends with, be, be friends with a circle you think you're going to get along with the most because nine out of ten times you're, you're going to meet some genuine people that you would never even think about hanging out with. For me, so you have that conversation with them. That's a fact. That's a fact. I got photographer friends. I got friends like people that's doing, that's doing everything. everything from everywhere. For me, you see, you see Tom. I see Tom, my son Tom Shotter, so um, Tom Shotter, mm -hmm. you know I mean, my man doing his thing. You just gotta in, you know, some people, they're so, um, you stay within it's that different. one mind of, you know what, you know, I'm gonna stick to this, I'm gonna do it this way, when you have extra hands around you that are gonna show you the way, like, nah, let me show you how to do it easier this way, but you're so locked into a mentality that's not even gonna help you, it's hindering you, you know, because it's blocking you from a blessing you don't even know, so with me, I say, reach out to people, you know, get to know them, know their friends, you know, right. it's all about networking. All right. about communication yeah. and networking. Right. Know how to right. talk in different settings. Yes, 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 yes. Be yes. knowledgeable about everything. Yes, yes. That's mm -hmm. a fact. Yes. And like I said, with this podcast, you know, it's to reach all millennials out there, definitely, you know, and to let everybody know what, whatever you go through at the end of the day, you made it through a situation, feel me? Cherish that feeling, you know, you got to live off that. A lot of times we go through stuff and we keep thinking on the negative act aspect of it but you gotta remember you made it through that situation man for real and everybody always knows feel me if it ain't official it ain't it legit, legit.